Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm here with ReZero uh, episode num season 2 episode number 4. Uh, in the previous episode uh, we met uh, a brand new character uh, Egatina and uh, she seems like an uh, amazing character. I mean from the first impressions I really like her. She is like uh, what can I say. Um, a bit mysterious as well and uh, she, uh, she's funny cute and everything and um, yeah uh, I don't know if my opinion will change later on but up until now uh, I really like her as a character and um, in the previous episode uh, we met uh, Rosewall and everyone else and we got to see a little bit of the backstory not the backstory the world building the plot of the actual world the lore of the world that is of ReZero the different types of witches and everything and uh, it was quite interesting and uh, at, the, uh, at the end uh, almost at the end uh, 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 what do you call uh, uh, Emilia got, in, in, uh, got inside the trial and uh, Subaru also followed her and he's back in the real world I think and I think he, he's probably going to meet his mom and dad again and I'm quite excited to see uh, like uh, the real backstory of Subaru uh, what was he and uh, how were his family and friends and what happened a lot of questions so yeah without further ado let's get started with ReZero uh, season 2 episode number 4 now I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer down here uh, sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started Okay, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. And he's back. <laughs> yep, that's it. Said. Wow, his dad is like. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is the reason why Subaru is so strong, like at hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting. His dad trained him. Well, Super gets m most of the things from his dad, I think. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that monstrosity? <laughs> my god. Well, that's an amazing way. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Wait what? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's fair. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Your race. Okay, so so he didn't go to school. Yeah, I remember that from season 1. Okay, so he he apparently does not remember uh or cannot remember his uh thing from the yeah, all of the things that happened.
past eight. Wait. Oh, he was waiting for the school. Okay, so this was his. Oh my god. Did something happen to him before? Like okay. Well, he. I think he can't remember the thing that happened in that world. Like things with. Hmm. I think something must have happened b b before in his past or something like Oh my gosh. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Okay. He is kind of remembering now, I think. <laughs> okay. So, some girl problem or something? Well, his dad is pretty lenient, unlike a lot of parents. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, I think Satella is no, it's uh, Emilia. Wait, is this Amelia? Yeah, this is Amelia. Well, he kind of remembered. Yep. So I guess he'll be able to. Wait a sec. Yeah, this is Amelia, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was Sadella, like, no, this is Amelia. Well, he remembered. So this was a, is the trial, I think. He has to like face up upon his past or whatever it is. <laughs> well, he loves Emilia. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is the thing, like you're his child or his sibling. Damn. Well, this is like majority of the people. A lot of people has to like face these things.
Oh, he got tired, I think. Well, he was a little bit like trying too hard. The thing that happened with Emilia and everyone. I have a lot to talk about this, like after the episode. Yep. <laughs> That's not a head butt. <laughs> That's a leg butt. Well, his dad must be some pretty big. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Well, eldest son, so she has siblings? <sighs> well, we don't know whether he'll be able to come back or not. Like... Well, that was nice.
Hmm. <laughs> the signature pose. Okay, so so he's going to school. I thought that he's going to probably going to go back now. Okay, let's see how this goes. Um, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Wait what? What? Negative attention. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, why is she, yeah, why is she coming? <laughs> Well, at least she's like, yeah. Well, he's your parents, yeah. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Well super was problem was he's, he was tr trying too hard <laughs> yeah, that's a de good way. Wait, what? Okay, he must be bullied or something in school. Oh no, the. Wait, what? Yep.
Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that's the end. Wait. Hmm. That's a good one, line. Ending, yep. Right. Well, he faced his past. That was the end. Like, that was the last time he saw his parents. Wait, he came to school? I thought he was... Is there something more he has to face? Oh my god! <laughs> well... Oh, well, at least he got himself sorted out like okay this is the ending I was waiting for this this ending is a lot like season 1 ending like, I love that ending. This is Mythanroid, isn't it? I don't know. I, I think it is. Yeah, this... Okay, no, no, it's Nonok. Okay, okay. Uh, Nonok is uh, from uh, Isekai Quartet. That song. Yeah, this is, this is 
quite good. This song is like a lot like season one ending, that Mithun Roy song. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That was the end of episode number four. Now, um, uh, first of all, like, uh, this was a, like a trial for him. Like, he had to face his past so that he can move on to the future. And um, as Ekdina said, that uh, he faced his past and what did he learn? He, at least, he sorted himself out. Like, he had already sorted himself out, out a lot during the thing with Rem in season one. Uh, where sh he kind of like blurted his, her, his heart out and uh, Rem accepted him. So this was like a conclusion to that. And there must have been something nagging inside of him like uh, he was unable to convey everything to his parents because uh, after Subaru went to that world, uh, he had a lot of things to say. Like it was like uh, this was that conclusion. Like he. Uh, expressed himself to his parents whatever he was unable to do before and uh, he had a good talk with his father his mother and um, yeah I think he is a lot I mean uh, he has sorted himself out a lot now and uh, this is great character development like um, we saw before like uh, the thing he does whenever he's like uh, concerned or he is like feeling alienated uh, the thing that happened when um, he felt in season one when he felt alienated due to Emilia not letting him go to that uh, what do you call that that election thing and uh, uh, he him being humiliated in front of everyone uh, he uh, he he tries too hard he he kind of like did everything he he was like he became kind of like a madman at that time the this was the uh, what do you call it the bad habit of Subaru. And uh, yeah, this was like the ugly part of her, his heart, and everyone has an ugly part of their heart. This is that is not nothing to be ashamed about. That is uh, the the only thing that that you should be ashamed about if you are unable to overcome that. Uh, if you are unable to overcome your ugly heart, that is something to be ashamed about. And Subaru did uh, was able to overcome it, and that makes him a winner. And um, we also saw before like uh, when uh, uh, during that uh, season one when uh, Subaru was continuously dying in Rosewa's mansion uh, on and on again and Rem was also dying if he was not dying thing uh, like that thing with the Ma Beasts uh, he like uh, did everything he was trying to do all, everything like he was laughing like kind of overdoing it and uh, he was like trying too hard similar thing must have happened here as well like when he went to his school uh, he tried to uh, what do you call it he tried to be uh, presentable to other he tried to make others feel like yeah I'm a cool dude I'm a, uh, I'm a what do you call it I I'm fun to be around so he overdid it and that was uh, the thing that he messed up like uh, he wanted to change uh, he he wanted to change definitely but he overdid that change he overdid uh, the way he talked everything he kind of um, tried too hard and completely changed from the core person he was so that did not work out uh, if you try to be someone else uh, if, if you try too hard to be someone else that usually do not does not work out and uh, super tried to do that and uh, here he embraced himself he understood his uh, problems his everything his uh, what do you call them uh, his negative aspects and uh, embraced them and uh, understood that yeah I'm in the wrong here I should do these type uh, things like this and try to overcome them and move past them and their uh, mom and dad uh, and his mom and dad were extremely supportive here like uh, usually uh, like uh, there are parents who are like this and there are also a lot of parents who do not uh, like uh, do not understand what their uh, uh, what do you call it sons or daughters are going through like they are unable to understand and uh, things kind of like uh, go under the ra ra radar here but uh, 
uh, and uh, their parents are unable to help them if they are facing some problems but here the parents understood what he was going through they kept an eye on him so that he doesn't uh, steer off the path he doesn't go a wrong way but also he gives uh, they gave him the time that he needed and uh, that is like uh, that is a uh, amazing uh, quality their mom and dad has and uh, 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 that is really like what do you call it respectable and um, like his mom said that we are watching you and we are not uh, like uh, we have never given up on you we are watching you so even if Subaru was going like steered off his path they would have definitely helped him but uh, they kind of gave him the time to cope up with himself and overcome it himself and he did that perfectly and uh, Mm, a huge contribution is obviously uh, with Rem. He, she is the one that, like, brought Subaru up from, uh, from down there. He, she and uh, yeah, she uh, helped Subaru a lot. And there are a lot of things here. Like, um, I really liked the the phrases. Uh, just a sec. Um, Mm. Ah, here it is. Like he's saying that, um, but I don't know when it started. But I was no longer the best at things I used to be the best at. Now this happens a lot. Like uh, when you are like uh, small and everything, the you can do a lot of things more. Like this thing happens. I, I've uh, I've uh, like. Uh, this I've experienced myself like uh, when you're small and uh, you were good at something you're like the best at something and uh, people kind of respect you everyone says that wow look at him he's like a genius he's like amazing and you feel proud of yourself you feel amazing but as you grow older some of these kids uh, like they was no longer that super did this word, but I was no longer the best at things I used to be the best at. They start to become like more competitors come in, the and you're no longer the best at something that you were uh, doing, and uh, they kind of like I, I I don't know they kind of like uh, get past uh, I mean uh, pe pe uh, other people get ahead of them. And they started starts feeling uh, inferior inferior to others, and uh, they think like, yeah, uh, I was best at these kind of things, but now there are people better than me. I'm trying my best, but still I'm unable to do anything. So why should I try my best? And uh, they give up. And this happens a lot. Like, and uh, this is extremely relatable. The thing that Subaru says here. Uh, what used to be my best grew smaller and smaller. Yep. And uh, yeah, working my hardest at school seems stupid. And he kind of d started doing things that the other kids do, like uh, running around, playing around, and everything. Like. Uh, yeah, and uh, especially if there is something like uh, people here compared him to his dad. I don't know what uh, his dad uh, did, but must have been someone uh, like uh, a really great dude or something. Like, must be like accomplished a lot during his time. So he was like compared to his dad, and uh, he was uh, compared to his dad when he was small, but he was good at it. He was good at everything he did, so that did not affect him. But when he started to uh, lag, uh, uh, started lagging behind, and uh, still people compared him. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of feel a lot bad, and the expectations and everything kind of like uh, weighs down on you. And most people give up like that due to that. And uh, yeah, this this was an amazing episode. Like, they did a good job here. And um, uh, his dad, like, uh, his dad also understood that he was like, uh, what do you call it, uh, a pedestal. 
at a very high place and Subaru was down here and everyone because he was his son everyone compared him to his dad and his dad also understood it and I think he's because of understanding that as well his dad kind of gave him the time that he needed and uh, did not give up on him uh, this, was, this was amazing like I've seen a lot of uh, amazing parents in anime and they're definitely amazing like these two uh, people here these two uh, the parents of Subaru uh, they're definitely amazing like uh, yeah this was a good, amazing episode and uh, here another thing that he said like uh, he uh, called him uh, his Subaru's dad called him the eldest son so I am guessing that he must have had some siblings I don't know and uh, yeah uh, I really don't know but uh, they're not being shown here so I don't know uh, what happened to him or her or, or uh, like why they called him the eldest and must have been because he has some uh, older or younger sibling um, yeah and um, another thing is here is that um, just a sec oh yeah uh, here they said that they, um, uh, this was a, like a trial to him so uh, I don't know I, I doubt that he went back to his world like I doubt really doubt that uh, was this like a, um, what do you call it a thing in the consciousness or something that he had made up inside himself to forgive himself and to uh, like uh, stand up to whatever he did wrong and uh, to like uh, clear uh, like what do you call it to um, to sort out his feelings is it something like uh, his uh, inside his consciousness that is happening because I doubt that he went back because if he really went back then uh, why did his parents not ask anything to him? like where were you but uh, things like these like I doubt he went back but I think this is like kind of like a thing that uh, he made inside himself and uh, uh, kind of like a dream world or something like that so that he can sort out his feelings and everything that was this is called a trial so uh, I don't know I, I'm guessing this because uh, it is uh, it really doesn't make sense that he went back like that and uh, like uh, nothing was asked and he, he uh, no one asked anything about him and also the thing is that the scre screen here uh, there's like a whitish hue hue here like uh, shading the shading is a bit bright so I am doubt uh, I am uh, I kind of confident that this is like a dream world like uh, when you dream of st stuff like this th this type of uh, effect is shown like uh, the skin is a bit white and stuff so I think this is like a, uh, a, a imaginary place where he uh, was uh, he came where to just sort out his feelings and uh, sort out his past and uh, yeah, thank God. Like uh, Subaru had a lot of things to say. Uh, he kind of abruptly uh, went to that world. So even if this is not the real world, he sorted out his feelings, said everything that he wanted to his mom and dad, and uh, apologized and thanked them. And uh, his mom and dad also expressed their feelings to him. And uh, yeah, I think he's ready now to whatever that is going to come. So yeah, that it became a long video. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you uh, uh, liked my reaction, uh, please press the like, like button and subscribe if you are new or you uh, haven't subscribed. And uh, be sure to comment uh, your thoughts about this episode. I really like this episode. Like uh, this was like a calm episode where you have to like. Uh, I also uh, did not uh, react much during this episode because I was listening to everything. So, um, yeah, this type of episodes are really good, like uh, like episode 18 from the first season where uh, Subaru said everything. That was mainly dialogue and this was also mainly dialogue, but this was so good. Like, uh, I'm a Monogatari fan. I love some good dialogues and some good, what do you call it, storytelling. And this was definitely one of that. And I really enjoyed this. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back, back with a new ReZero episode, season 2 in the next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day